so the topic which I've chosen is about indices. Okay. Have you studied these before? Indices. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what is an index number? Let's say you have uh, you've got two raised to the power of five. So two is known as your base number. And five is your index number. Now, what does five tell you? Five tells you that how many times the base number is being mul multiplied by itself. Yes. So it tells you number of times base is multiplied by itself. Okay. okay, so uh, let's say if I write five raised to the power of three, that means five is being multiplied three times. Yes. Uh, now yes. we have got, okay, uh, we've got, we've got various methods. Uh, are you doing IGCSE? Yeah. Okay, so there are questions which tell you uh, to solve complex problems which involve indices. Let's say, so can you solve this? Yeah. Okay, now uh, I'm not asking you to solve this. Just look, what happens here is that whenever an operation is performed, now let's take an example. Let's say this was your number. Now, whenever you take a reciprocal of this, you want your Z an index number to be in the numerator, what you would do is take the reciprocal. After taking the reciprocal, this z will become z negative two index number. Have you done this part? No. Okay, look here. It's it's It says six raised to the power of minus two. Okay. How would you solve this? You can you know that six raised to the power means six being multiplied two times, but six to the power of minus two means that you need to convert first this index number into a positive number, which would be one divided by six, two. Whenever you take a reciprocal of this number div div uh, divided by, one over six raised to the power of two. This means that you have converted a negative. This was your negative index number, which you have converted in the positive form. This is your positive two, and it becomes one over six raised to the power of two. So what is the other way of writing six raised to the power of minus two? It's one over six is the power of two got it so this means that you can now simplify it six uh, one divided by six raised to the power two means 36 so the answer is one over 36 this is how we solve our indices Now let's say, let's take an example that my, this is your number. Your number says, the number is th three raised to the power of minus three. How are you going to simplify this number? 
We are going. Yes, take the reciprocal. It's going to be one divided by three. Yes. So now you can uh, three to the power of three means three is being multiplied three times. So three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. So three raised to the power of three is twenty-seven. So you can write it as one divided by twenty-seven. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Now, now let's do the reverse process. Let's say you had one divided by 16. Now, I want you to to give an answer which is in the form of two raised to the power of n you need to give your answer this you need to solve this problem 1 over 16 and you want to convert your number in the index form in this form 2 raised to the power of n so what is your first step your first step is to convert this 16 in this form in 2 to the raise 2 to the raise uh, 2, two raised to the power of n so what are you going to do? So six, take 16 inside and two should be outside and divide 16 by two. What is 16 divided by two? Wait. Eight. Again, need to divide it eight by two. A divided by two is four, right? So again, divided by two, four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. So you need to divide this number again and again by two until and unless you get one as your answer. When you get one as your answer, then just stop. Now you can see, can you see how many times you multiplied two to get 16? It's four times. Two multiplied by two times two times two. And we can write it as two to the power of four because two is being multiplied four times. It's like LCM. Right? Are you getting it? Do you have any questions from this? I can't hear you. Can you be a little louder? Yeah, I understand. Okay, great. Uh, two to the power of four. Now, your 16 is equal to two to the power of four. Now, one over 16. Replace this two to the power of four with this 16. So it becomes one divided by Two to the power of four. Now two to the power of four means that now you want your answer to be in the form of two to the power of n. So now this two should be in the numerator. To bring this into the numerator, you can write two to the power of minus four. Reverse the sign of the index and bring this two in the numerator form. Now we have given our answer in form of two to the power of n, where n is equal to minus four. And this is your base number, which is two. Two and two. Any questions?
now we need to convert this 4 to the power of minus 2 in the form of in the simplest form what are we going to do 4 to the power of minus 2 means 1 divided by 4 to the power of 2 4 to the power of 2 means 4 into 4 which is 16 so we get 1 over 16 as our answer got it Okay, let's do a complex problem. Now let's say this was the problem. Now, now rule there are rules of indices, right? Rule says that now whenever there is no power on any digit, we assume that the power is one. So this x has a power of one. Yeah. Okay. So what we do is take this two, uh, take this. Make me change the color. Take this y raised to the power of two above. So this becomes. And take this x raised to the power of one above. So this becomes x to the power of minus 1. So we can write this fraction in this form. Okay. So your rule of indices say that we can add we can add the powers. Let's let me write here. Rule says So the rule says that you can add or subtract the powers if the base number is same. So you you uh, see that the base number, what is the base number which has the index on it? If let's say my, this was my base number three and two to the power of minus one, they are being multiplied. So what we do is when they are multiplied, we add the powers two, three, plus minus one so this becomes two three minus one is equal to two raised to the power of two which is four so when our base number is same you see this is your base number two is your base number so we have we have added our powers three plus minus one plus minus is minus so three minus one is two so this becomes two to the power of two which is is equal to four so let's get get back to the original question original question was nine two x um x raised to the power of two y to the power of three y to the power of now we are going to now we are going to add all our powers which are which have the same base. You see here we have got x raised to the power of two, and here we have got x to the power of minus one. This becomes x two and plus minus one. And y three plus minus two. So now we get x minus. Um, here it becomes two minus one, and here it becomes three minus two. So your, what is your answer? Your answer would be n x y because now this, these powers become one. To the power of one. Do you have any questions from the lecture? Mm, okay. 